How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking once again about MDM or Remote Management, Mobile Device Management, and we're going to show you guys how to bypass this with check rain and some pretty awesome commands. Um, so it's going to be a fun process, and you're going to see what happens here because when we get this done, we're going to be able to skip right through um, this uh, little warning here. Um, about setting up MDM on the device and the requirement to sign into your account um, on the MDM device. Pretty sweet, right? Let's go over to the computer and let's do this process. All right, guys, here we are on the computer. Now, um, I wanted to show you this. Um, this device, I just went ahead and jailbroke. Um, you can see that video. It's really not a big deal. Um, it's a couple of videos up in this course. Um, I also got a link below the video, along with all the commands we're going to use. So you can scroll down and see all that, okay? But I'm just going to show it to you. So here's the Libby Mobile software that I've shown you previously. And we need to go ahead and open that SSH session. So to do that, we're going to go Shift, right click, open command window here. And then we're going to do that iProxy command followed by the four twos and the four four. Hit enter. That's going to start our proxy. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to open another command prompt. And we're going to type in SSH root at local host minus p2222 hit enter okay what should happen is we should we should get in here so um there is a failure here and i wanted to show you this so if you've done this too many times you're going to get this um this ssh key failure so i went ahead and um found the file this is where it is pc or c drive user your username dot ssh here's the um file you need to look at so we're going to edit it and then just delete everything under this local host thing right here. Go ahead and save it. Close it out. And voila, that should do the trick. Let's go back into our command prompt and run the command again. This time it's going to create a new security key. And we're going to say yes to the fingerprint. And now we can put in our password, which is Alpine. Um, and now we have a root shell into our device. Okay. So from here, we're actually going to go over to the course. And here's the bottom where you scroll down the video. And we're going to copy this command. This just makes it way easier to do it. And we're going to paste it in here and hit enter. And that's going to CD us um, into the directory we need right here. Okay. So what we need to do from here is we need to nano a couple files. So we're going to nano this guy right here. Copy. And um, what nano does is it allows you to do a text editor. So we're going to hit that in and hit it. And you should have a text editor like this. And we're going to edit a couple things in this text editor. Okay. So we're going to scroll down here. You can only scroll with your uh, arrow keys. We're going to erase this one, which is under configuration source. And we're going to go to zero. And then we're going to come down here to, I'm sorry, not configuration source. That's the wrong one. Haha. <laughs> right here. Is MDM removable? Make that zero. And then is mandatory. We're going to go to false. Okay. Um, multi user, don't matter. And then this one is supervised. False. Okay. And then you're going to hit um, control X and it's going to say save. So you hit Y and then you hit enter to save it as the same exact file. Okay. All right. So now we're going to come down to the next plist file. Copy that. Now we can move that back down. Copy that. Paste it in. Hit enter. And then we got to configure the exact same things in here. Okay. So the first one is, is MDM removable? Say zero. Um, is MDM mandatory? Say false. And then is supervised say false okay then you hit control x y enter voila you have completed the process that's what we changed down here and very nice and simple now if um you don't have nano on your device a lot of times you can do something like an apt install nano and it'll install it if atp is available or atp dash get install nano so in case nano is not functioning those are a couple things you can try mine already has nano built in so i'm good to go okay from here we can actually exit all this out 
and we are done on the computer. Let's go back over and take a look at the device. All right, here we are on the device. We're just going to go ahead and hold down power to um, power off uh, the device because we need to do a reboot. Now that we've edited all those devices with um, a root shell with check rain, um, power it all the way down and then power it back on. And those plist um, files that we've edited will now change the overall makeup. And you can even change what's written in the MDM pop-up. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, those plist files contain all that information and so you can change all that stuff but now you're going to see a totally different mdm come up here on the device so now we can see um, english and we'll just go through the setup wizard um, connect up to the wi-fi if it'll connect quick enough there you go and now you have this option right here apply configuration or skip configuration that's what we wanted right so we're going to say skip configuration, hit next, and then um, we'll just go through all this just to show you that it is in fact, um, everything is bypassed here on this device for MDM lock. And we can just go past all this, don't use. And the best way to see if you're, if you're not MDM locked anymore is if you look into settings um, on the device and that will, that will tell you that you're, you're MDM locked or you're not based on the header in settings. So almost done. And here we go. So we're going to go into settings. And as you can see right up here at the very top, it has nothing about your company or the MDM that was on the device because we have fully bypassed this MDM. Now, the interesting thing about this bypass is that obviously if you um, factor reset the device, MDM will come back and you can do it again. Now, also I'm going to note this. This device is on 13.5.1. I'm gonna update this device to 14.6 at the time of this video, and we'll test again. But I wanted to show you this process, and if it works on 14.6, which I kinda of think it will, I'm gonna leave a comment below, and then you'll know in the video description um, if that works on that device or not. But it definitely works on this one, and it's a really cool bypass for MDM. There you go, guys, that is the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos here at uh, Phone Lab, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Root Junkie out.